Tell me, Eric, what have you planned? Just follow me. Eric led Emma to his home office along with Ashley and Lisa for a well-planned surprise. Someone was already waiting for them. Welcome, Emma. So, you are the owner of the famous legs. We are honored to insure those. Emma was surprised, but she understood what was going on. It was Eric. He wanted to purchase insurance for her stunning legs. It was pretty common for celebrities to insure their body parts, but Emma wasn't too fond of it. I don't think it's necessary, Eric. It creates a lot of attention. I disagree. Your legs are so different and beautiful that they need insurance. But Eric, it will create all the unnecessary buzz. I don't want that. I know you don't like me to do things for you, but listen to me this one time. Global will never offer you insurance, and I want to take care of you in every possible way. Emma knew she couldn't refuse. She wasn't very famous yet, and that meant the cost of insurance wouldn't be too high. After all, she hated the fact that Eric spent so much money on her on something so unnecessary. Okay, Eric. According to me, the price for... No matter what the estimated value is, I want to increase the amount by 10 times. Well, in that case, uh, the final value would be over $100 million. Everyone in the room was shocked after hearing the amount. Ashley and Lisa could never imagine such a huge sum, but they realized that Eric was doing his best to help his wife Emma, the sole beneficiary of this policy. But Emma was quiet, thoughtful, and nervous. Eric realized this and put his hand on her shoulder lovingly. This industry is so chaotic and unsafe that it's important to have your peace of mind. And if that comes with a price, then so be it. I want to make sure you are safe and protected in your career. Then why wouldn't you buy a policy for yourself? <laughs> because I don't have such gorgeous legs. At that moment, Emma only had eyes for Eric. He always amazed her with his unwavering loyalty, never asking for anything in return. I have made a promise to myself, Eric. And what is that? That I will love you unconditionally, just like you love me. Eric smiled at her, and they were lost in their own world, forgetting everyone else. He'd never met anyone quite like Emma, and he felt an overwhelming urge to do everything in his power for her. For Emma, it was a tale of two treatments. One cherishing her like a precious gem, while another hurt her deeply. Meanwhile, Lisa and Ashley watched, happy for their blossoming romance. Ashley, you don't know how tempted I am to thank Nathan for sparing Emma. She didn't deserve a loser like Nathan. Look at Eric, he's perfect. Totally, can you imagine? She's now insured for $100 million, enough to buy Nathan and Global outright. That jerk is using all his power to put Emma down. He has no idea how bad the storm is. And indeed, that was the case. As the secret magazine's shoot was approaching, Nathan bombarded the media to provide exposure to his love, Amber. He wanted to make sure she painted as the best model in the news all day. Back at Emma's camp, anxiety was lurking among the fans. What's happening with Emma? All we hear about is Amber. Is Emma okay? Have faith in Emma. Emma's fans felt a sense of relief. They were aware that Emma kept a low profile, but she never failed to strike back like a lioness whenever she was ready. Meanwhile, back at the global office, temperatures were rising. The media is loving Amber. Look at all the positive responses. What about Emma? What are they saying? Few fans are offended, but there's nothing to worry thanks to Mia's work. Our strategy is working for sure, but we'll have to wait. Once the results from the Secret Magazine's photo shoot are in, Emma will be done once and for all. Amber just needs to be at her best. You don't worry about me. I am just as good as she is. And don't forget she filled in for me once. In that case, you better get to work and start preparing for the photo shoot's theme. I'm gonna check in with the photographer. I am ready. There is a lot riding on you, lady. It's just not your reputation on the line here. Global will be humiliated and Nathan's image will be tarnished. You can bet that I'll go to any extent to get my revenge against Emma. Bring it on. The following day, headlines flooded in, and the fans were abuzz. Amber versus Emma was trending. Nathan engineered a positive boost for Amber's image, while Emma's headlines were certainly provocative. Wow, Nathan's really gone all out there. Amber is giving numerous interviews, interacting with fans who are treating her like a superstar. Are you sure you don't want to do anything, Emma? We have nothing to worry about. Our focus should be on today's shoot. Just have to be polite and complimenting. What's there to compliment? Did you forget that Emma has a strategy planned? Ah, uh, we're gonna use Amber's self-confidence to bring her down. Victim of her own success. 
It was a strategy that always worked in the entertainment biz. Management used it to teach artists, especially the arrogant ones like Amber, some humility. Amber desperately wanted the top spot, and Emma allowed her to have it. Meanwhile, Mia was climbing the ladder, but she had a hidden motive. Mia really would want to keep Amber at Global with all the success. Too bad she is not talented enough. We will just have to wait and see if Mia continues to support her after the shoot. Emma was focused and determined for the shoot as they arrive at Secret Magazine's office. Upon reaching the dressing room, the stylist just gawked at Emma's long legs as he measured her wardrobe. Try this on. The lighter colors give you a classy look. She can wear anything you give her and pull it off. Just then, Amber entered the room along with her assistant. She walked right across the room and plucked the lipstick out of Emma's hand. You're so used to filling in for me that you have forgotten to make your own decisions. Emma was amused by the audacity of Amber, but she wasn't wrong. Emma did allow others to choose outfits for her, but not because she couldn't come to a decision. She believed that she could handle any style of clothing according to her clients. Meanwhile, Amber studied each outfit carefully and picked out a bunch of clothes that would suit her best. Wearing clothes is an important skill in this profession, and Amber has it. Maybe you shouldn't be too casual about it, Emma. Let's look at it this way. Whatever a mistress wears, she is always going to be naked in the eyes of few men. So why even bother? How dare you! Not now, Amber. The interview is about to start and we don't want this. Let's go out and get ready. We should head out as well, ladies. The interview was about to begin with Amber and Emma both on it. The fans were buzzing, but there was one man who was sweating with nervousness. Nathan. He pulled Amber and Emma aside. This is going to go out live, so you better think before you speak, especially Emma. If you say anything against us, the implications will be too high for all of us, including you, to handle. Make sure your focus is the magazine and the shoot, not your personal squabbles. I will try. Nathan was so scared to see Emma this calm. He suspected that Emma must be having something up her sleeve. He gave one last warning to Emma before the three of them head into the interview room. Nathan stood amongst the reporters just in case Emma made any attempts to sabotage the situation. The damage could be controlled easily. But little did they know, Emma was going to play her cards totally unexpectedly. Why is Emma so calm? Is she confident about her strategy? Will this shoot go according to Nathan's plan? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.